This episode of Philly Fame TV is sponsored by Top Dog Law. Now y'all already know who to call for any accidents or injury cases. If you want that top dollar, you better get that top dog. You can hit him up on Instagram at Top Dog Law or visit his website www.topdoglaw.com. What's up, bro? All right. Oh, no. Yeah, we still on day three. You was able to hit me back. I mean, a little bit later on in the day, so we right back to it. Yeah. And you know it's crazy. Uh, hey, I told you. I mean, I told you that the interview. I mean, it did what it did as far as on the gram and on YouTube and all oh, that. Yeah. And niggas were sharing it. I mean, no guns on reposted it. I mean, um, and another person that reposted it, I just checked it on their story right before you called. Cause Meek follow the page, he be showing love to the page, he be sharing little stuff on the page and all that. Yeah, and he actually yeah. and he actually shared the clip on this page on his own um, story. And he said free ARA on that job. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, what, so he got the same I am sure he got the same vision I got. We trying to help the people, man. Right. And he's basically said that's a good word for the youngest, know what I mean? Like no lawyer. You know, you, you you know how uh without the, how, how how people feel about me in, in, in prison, you know from that prison reform thing he got going on. People 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 in prison they appreciate that shit, man. No, I ain't gonna lie to you. A lot of motherfuckers appreciate what he's doing. Nah, no, that's a lot, of, a lot of the men in jail. You know, a lot of men in jail they want help, man. So any any type of way, any type of help they can get from motherfucker on the outside world, especially a person who got a voice. People appreciate that shit. You dig what I'm saying? Motherfuckers feel like they doing it doing for the men. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Now, now we gotta help the people out there. You dig what I'm saying? Right, right, right. A lot of people out there that need help. We gotta help them. Right, and like you, and like you said when we ended the last call, last um call, you was like, that's pretty much the purpose of, of why you doing this. Know what I mean, the yeah, 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 yeah. My whole thing is, cause it, you know when I came here, I just got hit like a fucking, hit. I got hit like a ton of bricks. It's like, damn, they can do this, they can do that. It, it's you know it's eight forty eight, eight forty sixes, and uh, now you know what I mean now two one now twenty four C now two two T. Y'all never heard of them fucking codes right there. You dig what I'm saying? This is all codes. This is all federal codes that they killing black people with. The young motherfuckers with. You dig what I'm saying? Right. right. You, you'll never hear these codes, you know, in a state or in a town. You dig what I'm saying? When you're in a town, you never heard these. You never heard of them. When you come here, you're like, oh, they got 924C. Oh, he got 922G. Oh, 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 he got hit with conspiracy to Rico. They got CCE. You dig what I'm saying? All this type of shit they hit you with. Enhancing you for all types of bullshit, man. So yeah, crazy. My whole thing is, man. I was down there, uh, even I was down the building. You know, I ran through that building. I was down the building with motherfucking, uh, well, fuck, uh, East Capone. Oh yeah, right. You did tell me that you was on the same block as Ace, right? Y'all was on the same block. Yeah, I'm telling Ace. Like, I right, get out there, man. When I get out there, I got to, uh, I got, I got, I got to tell these youngins, man. You know, I was on the block with Chaka for time. Oh, word? Oh, yeah, shit. so, man, you know, man, talking about how I play chess every day, man. That's like my chess part. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, so, that's man, I'm, man, I'm going back and forth. I said, man, I gotta go out there and help these motherfuckers. I gotta, go, I gotta go out there and help the youngest. That was my man. We just play chess every day. I had him working out and all that, doing push ups and shit. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, nobody would have ever <laughs> guessed that. Yo, that's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care what all of them, <laughs> That's crazy as shit. But yo, when we started the uh the call earlier, you was telling me about how you was working out and I mean doing early in the morning and shit like that. So one of the questions I wanted to ask you is what's your day like like what's your day routine? Like you said you was up like seven, seven in the morning, like no, what I you... get up, see I get up, you know, I'm Muslim, so I, I I get up and offer the first prayer of the day. The first prayer of the day is here's probably like at six something. So I'm up like at five thirty, I get myself together. Heat my water up with my stinger, make my coffee, drink my coffee. I go pray to Salat. After the Salat, we get busy in the workout tip. So I might be working out like at 7 in the morning or whatnot. Uh, okay, okay. You know what I mean? I might do a 1,000 push-ups, 500 burpees, 300 burpees, uh, 300 jumps. I, I just go into it. I might, you know what I mean? Right. This call is from a federal prison. So what's the rest of the Give me the rest of the day. How the rest of the day go for oh, you? Oh, after that. After yeah. that, it, it, it's really chill. I play chess. That's my thing. I play chess. Uh, I got the uh, well. In here is uh, you know, it's seg it's so segregated in the face and the pants. 
So you might got like, all right, you got like six, eight TVs on a block. You got two of them Mexican, one of them white, uh, uh, two of them DC, stuff like that. You think I'm saying? So it was six TVs. So you know, the, the, the Muslims got one TV, and, 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 and I control that TV. So. I, I, I turn the show on for the so the people can watch it, but I turn the show on for everybody can watch it. Like all the black people, you know what I'm saying? So I turn some shit on for they can watch. Then I can go play chess and shit. Got you. So you being Ed, like Ben's though you so far, like you say you in Kentucky using other drones before too, and there's different motherfuckers from all over the world, all over the country, yeah. I mean, coming through. So how is it for you as Ed? Do they see you be like, yo, that's AR Ed? I'm not gonna lie to you. Me, right? Check us out. First, you gotta, first thing, I gotta, it's a preconceived notion about me, or he, he might think he's somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I get there, and I get there, and how humble and nice guy I am, everybody fuck with me. But then the flip side of that, people understand, if you play, I'm gonna crush you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that, that's not what I want. You know what I'm saying? But people understand that. So it's, it's a mutual respect. But, like I said, in these places, in all the pen, last pen I was at, right? It was probably like we got. It was a PA car. I, I was on, I was in a PA car the last five. I'm in a Muslim car this five, right? And the PA car it might be like eight people from Philly, uh, 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 four people from Harrisburg, three people from Pittsburgh, and we we, we house you know everybody from PA, Chester, all that, and and, and uh, Delaware and shit. So it might be like fifteen of us on the whole tent compound, but it's like a hundred New York niggas, three hundred DC. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Uh, 400 South, uh, uh, GDs, Bloods, every is segregated, you know what I mean? So, and we used to be the minority, but who I am and how, how much of a man I am, people just respect, you know what I'm saying? And they just don't play, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, all right. So, once somebody, uh, I mean, I was reading some of the comments and shit. I know you, you know what I mean? When you was out in the world, I already asked you about that. You said you ain't never really pay attention to comments, so you just the post shit, and that was that. So yeah, I, I never yeah. because I know it, it, it gives people voices who who really like scared and cowards like they might disrespect a man. You know you want to say that to a man to his face. You dig what I'm saying? But they might say some slick stuff. So I don't even read comments. Right. You dig what I'm saying? And, and, and that's a shame because it's good people having making good comments though. But the but but the fuck niggas they make me I ain't read comments. I'm never gonna meet these people. You dig what I'm saying? That they're talking trash. You dig what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. right. So one thing I want you to clarify, because like I said, mostly everybody show you love, but everybody show you love, everybody, like I said, niggas were sharing it and all that. And one common theme that I want you, you already spoke on it, but I just want you to address it for the, for the last time, as far as the interviews, because a lot of people feel like the interviews is what got you caught up, whereas those... Oh yeah, let's say that. The interviews didn't have nothing to do with got caught up. The interviews had nothing to do. This is how I got caught up. It was a liar named... He was in Frankfurt... Doing whatever he was doing, he was committing all types of atrocities, and they started following him. Then they followed him to my, one of my little hangout spots one day, and seen me dealing with him, and they put a camera on the block. You dig what I'm saying? That's how I got caught up. In the mix of my, my, my conspiracy was a year long, right? I don't have really no interviews in that other year. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? I didn't do no interviews within that year. All the interviews was done when I first came home from prison, and I wasn't doing nothing when I first came home from prison. But I did most of my interviews then. You dig what I'm saying? Right. And I know I, at a point in time I wasn't doing nothing. And you so and you was thing, rapping too. Time, yeah, when you yeah. was rapping, you was doing interviews. When you were strictly yeah. rapping, music. Exactly. When I'm on rap mode, I'm doing interviews and I ain't doing nothing else. You dig what I'm saying? What they lied me up for was that. That interviews, they brought that shit back from old shit. You think I wasn't doing that? Right. So that so, the, so, so don't get it misconstrued. They got nothing to do with the interviews. They ain't even they brought some motherfucking some interviews up from 2015. You think what I'm saying? 2014. That's the interviews they brought to my trial. So 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 did that. So so basically, what I want you to clarify too is. Without without Bull bringing you in the mix and testifying against you, could would you be home right now? Without, without him, I'll be home. Without him, I'll be home. And without this shit, that's that'll be this shit. Making them statements against me, I'll be home. Hmm. They lied on me. They both of them lied on me. That's the reason why I'm in prison, man. I never had a witness that say I sold them some narcotics or had or had narcotics in my possession. 
the only wins I had was that, and that was a minuscule amount, like a like a couple grams. You know what I'm saying? Nobody testified, God, I'm saying, that I've had a kilogram or anything near it. So it was that that lied on me. And it was... This call is from a federal prison. Yeah, so that's a lot about violence. He just lied, lied. I've seen the statement. He lied about all his violence. And by the grace of Allah, I wasn't charged with no violence. I'm not charged with no violence. But both of them lied about violence.